Hey, how's it going, guys? It's your boy Yashir Gaming. Well, if you're new to channel, guys, I would like you to kill, but and smash that little subscribe button and also to ring that bell notification, guys. Alright, so without any further ado, in this brand new tutorial, I'm gonna teach you full step by step how are you going to install the latest Kali Linux in VMware Workstation. So first thing first, what you need to do is open your web browser and you're gonna write for VMware Workstation. Workstation download VMware Workstation Pro and click this for Windows. Alright. And uh, now go to Kali.org. Uh, you're on the Kali Linux page. Uh, you're gonna click download here. You're gonna click on the installer images recommended. Alright. Not the virtual machine, but installer images. Click here. I have 64 bit. I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna click right here okay it's about 3.6 gb all right the installer all right so I'll click this download button the download is in iso okay so meanwhile this is downloading right here uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open this vmware workstation let's install this vmware workstation 17. all right so i'll start Alright guys, I've uh, restarted my PC, my OS, okay, and uh, yeah, let's try this, open folder, and I'm gonna right click, run as administrator, yes, and now it should launch the installation. Alright, after it finishes, just drag and drop this ISO file onto your desktop, okay? And now just uh, double click this VMware Workstation Pro and you'll be granted, if you have a license key, just paste your license key right here, but I want to try it for free for 30 days. Alright, and once you're here, just click on create a new virtual machine, a new VM. Alright, leave it on typical, recommended, click next and click browse and select the location onto your desktop as i drag and drop it onto my desktop i'm gonna select it right here i'm gonna hit next uh this is here it says guest operating system i'll change it to linux and yeah you just leave it to ubuntu 64 bit and hit next virtual machine i'm gonna give a name as kali hit next so right here it's uh, the maximum storage uh depending on how many how many storage you have okay so maybe i lend uh 20 gb out of this i have six 692 gb free so maybe i lend uh, um 30 gb and i'm gonna store it as a single file okay and here i'm gonna click on customize hardware okay and for, for the memory i'm gonna give it like 4 gb of ram okay for the processors total processors i'm gonna give it two uh printer nope remove that or remove printer network it's it's going to uh by default it's going to be on my uh, on my nat okay on my nat nat but if you'd like to bridge and rep, uh, bridge, it's going to replicate the physical network connection. If only the NAT is not working for you, then of course do bridge. But as for me, NAT always works. Okay. Click close and click finish. All right. So once you hit finish, it's going to be added into under your library right here. Okay. So you're going to click on power on this virtual machine. You do get this so, so first you'll have to boot into bios and you'll have to change the bios firmware settings you'll have to enable the amd5 okay okay first and restart all right as soon as you see the boot menu you wanna spam the f2 button Okay, you have to enable this. Okay, 
so guys this option SVM mode so you have to enable this this it says what here enable and disable CPU virtual virtualization and now just save and exit alright guys so we're back now all you have is to go here click the Kali and power on this machine and boom voila as you can see now all you have to um, just click on graphical install and press enter okay and to return your to your computer press on control plus alt okay all right now now you'll be able to hover your mouse like this all right and now i'm just gonna select english okay hit continue and i'm gonna stick with united states all right the keyboard american english all right and now guys this will uh begin to install so all you have to do this might take like 10 to 12 minutes so all you have to do is to sit tight and wait okay so yeah up in here it says to configure the network so um the host name i'm just gonna leave it as kali and the domain name if you have a domain name dot com dot blah 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 okay you want to enter it right here but if you don't have a domain just leave this thing blank and hit on uh, hit continue all right full name so enter your account username so i'm gonna enter mine uh, yashua gaming just like this okay all in lowercase letter and enter password and hit continue and make sure that you remember your username and password because you, you will be needing of those all right for the desired uh configure clock so i'm gonna stick with central all right all right here for the partition disk leave it on guided use entire disk and hit continue okay right here all files in one partition recommended for new users all right click finish and write changes to this hit yes and click continue all right right here software selection i'm gonna stick with the default like using the these tools all right the default de uh, desktop environment but if you'd like to use genome and kde plasma you can use that as well all right so right here install the grub bootloader hit yes continue and right here just select this forward slash dave forward slash sda hit continue all right so once you're in here as you can see finish the installation press continue to re, uh, to reboot all right and don't worry the system will get automatically uh, restarted okay booting in three two seconds all right and right here all you have is to write okay so make sure you click and you're not remember that username and password and simply hit login okay so basically guys we are inside the Kali linux right here and um and pin this and pin this command bar right here so the first thing that you want you want to do okay as soon as you install the Kali linux you want to open the terminal and here you're gonna write sudo uh apt a b okay so these two commands are the most important okay sudo apt update and then press enter all right so you might want to enter the password as well all right so this thing it will fetch all the available updates sudo apt upgrade enter password once again all right press y all right so this is going to fetch all the current updates all right and it's very important that you update the uh, kali linux os okay so yeah guys i hope this tutorial was helpful this is how we fully install the latest kali linux on uh, vmware workstation pro well if you like it so far please give this video a thumbs up ring that bell notification and if you're new subscribe and if you want another video how do we install the latest python 
on Kali Linux. I'm also gonna get into that, okay, for a future video. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. Your boy, Shigemi, and signing out. Peace.